Hey guys, PA Bucks and Bass here today, and uh, today I'm going to be talking about what I carry in my hunting pack for uh, when I hunt deer. Gun season just ended here in PA, and I'm going to be telling you guys what I take mainly all year out, and there's going to be some stuff in here I take just for drives, or um, I do do some stand hunting, but uh, the main... Uh, proportion of our hunting time in second season is drives on Saturdays and then I might get out for a quick um, evening hunt or if I'm off a day in school uh, in the second season I will try to get out for a stand hunt. So starting off with this front pocket the front smallest pocket um, here we have a pull rope basically for a pull rope you never know when you're going to need it um, say a pull rope, you, you're going you're gonna to hunt a stand where the pull rope dry rotted out um, and you don't feel safe pulling up your expensive bow up from that uh, pull rope or your pack making a ton of noise, which could cost you a hunt in second season when those deer are really finicky from being pressured all gun season and all of archery season. So basically, um, I have that pull rope and a light. Uh, I usually use my phone too, but more than often than not, I'll use that light. It's a very bright light. It's a little heavy, but uh, I carry it anyways. Um, get Moving on, our, uh, I got three hooks. I got the real tree hook, um, and then there's, I don't even know what brand, maybe Hunter Specialties hooks there. Uh, I use uh, one for my pack when I'm in a tree stand or a climber, and the other for uh, my calls in the rut. And then on the far right, we have my um, wind checker, which is uh, crucial in any hunting uh, of basically mammals any uh, or predators, stuff like that. Um, if you're hunting coyotes or deer, it doesn't matter. Your wind has to be good because, uh, you know, if you don't have good wind, a big buck will easily pick you out in a uh, situation where your wind is bad. Starting off with this, uh, the medium sized pocket, not the biggest yet, um, I have hand warmers. Hand warmers are essential in any second season hunting. Uh, basically, a lot of the time of year in Pennsylvania, it's cold when it's deer season. So, um, right now, it's like 20s, and I make sure to c carry my hand warmers with me at all times. Uh, I carry those big ones. Um, it doesn't matter. You get the small ones. It doesn't matter. I have three there. Um, and they're essential to st staying in stand long enough for you to have the chance of seeing deer and or more deer. Um, the second thing is what I carry with me all the time is my license. You need your license not to be uh, shown. It doesn't have to be visible in Pennsylvania, but you have to have it on you. My license uh, also has its doe tags in there. And I usually will take a day or two in second season along with a buck. But usually I do have my buck by now. Um, you know, I've been passing deer, so I don't have any deer yet. Uh, only my dad and big brother have shot uh, does. So I'm going to try to put a buck and a doe down this year in second season. Moving on to the right is um, a saw cut up in the rib cage and the, um, the uh, pelvis. So I get in uh, clean out the deer real nice. Uh, my buck knife right below it is uh, very sharp. Keep that very sharp. I usually don't carry my field dressing stuff with me. Um, I'll, my, where I hunt, I usually don't have to go very far to pick it up at my house. Unless I'm hunting out of state or pretty far. Um, but I, it gives me enough time to get back to the house, which takes about 30 minutes. Grab my stuff, be back there in 30 minutes gives a deer an hour. I always like to give a deer a little bit of time just to make sure um, I don't push him, especially if it's a big buck. Unless I see him go down, um, I will still have to go back. Um, the calls really aren't as important in second season. Uh, you aren't really going to ca uh, catch a deer coming into a call in second season. The rut is usually over by them. And some bucks' antlers are starting to fall off, which is the downfall of killing a buck in second season. It's antlers uh, might pop off, but uh, the taxidermists can always put those back on. And orange flagging tape is essential. Um, tracking any deer, I like to find um, first blood. If I lose blood, I'll put the flagging tape there. And sometimes you'll see it's in a straight line. 
which deer do like to run when they're injured is a straight line and sometimes you can follow that line to the end of the trail where a big buck could be laying. So the biggest compartment, um, to start off, things I usually have in there are my camera bag, such as my uh, camcorder I'll have in there. Um, my tripod will be clipped to the side of the pack, which is uh, right on there where the clips are. But uh, I don't have the tripod, I have my uh, camera on the tripod right now. But basically, um, those are, and my GoPro, I'll carry my GoPro if I want a point of view shot on the uh, deer. But here's the thing, uh, things I have in my um, biggest compartment. Um, a big thing is, is a uh, pretty good uh, range finder, uh, especially in archery hunting. If you don't have a good range finder, um, and if you don't have a range finder at all, you better be good at judging distance. Because if you don't judge properly, that could be uh, a chance missed at a, a deer. Um, another essential is a uh, rope to go around the tree and to clip in with my carabiner. Uh, I never uh, feel safe without that. Being up in a tree stand, I'd much rather just hunt on the ground without a rope. So I always take that with me so I feel safe when I'm in the stand. Um, I usually will have some beef jerky or something to eat and drink, such as water or those granola bars. Sometimes you get hungry in the stand and uh, you're trying to sit for a little while longer because you know the deer could be moving. So you want to stay uh, hungry, and that will actually create uh, heat from digesting the food. Will create body heat, sometimes warming you up. Gloves, um, self-explanatory. Your hands get cold. You want to put on some gloves. I usually take a fanny pack, put my hands in the fanny pack, and so I have I can have full dexterity with my hands instead of having uh, gloves like that. You can always get thin gloves um, for early season, but. I just prefer to have nothing on my hands. Um, those are for extreme cases, and just have my hands in my fanny pack with a hand warmer. And then orange hat. Fall turkey season runs into deer season, so what I like to do is have a orange hat, which is, um, and put it on. You have to use it if you're deer hunting to get to your stand. And when basically you're moving at all times, so you need your orange hat to stay legal. Um, also, it's just good to have in deer season, say you forget a hat for gun season and you need a orange hat in gun season because if a game warden sees you without that, you're getting a ticket. Um, but uh, I always carry an orange hat with me, especially in the fall turkey season running with uh, deer archery or um, the gun season. So to go over the pack real quick, it's a Field and Stream Black Hills. Um, I'm actually getting a bigger pack. Um, tell me if you'd like me to do another video on when I get the bigger pack because I will add some stuff and I'll make sure to have the tripod and the c camera and my GoPro in it um, and just film on my phone because, you know, they take pretty good video. Um, but uh, that's my pack. Thank you guys for watching this video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, I do have a goose hunt booked for Northern Ohio this Saturday coming up, um, the 16th of November, or de December, excuse me, and we will be hunting uh, Canadian geese. Um, there, we drew some blinds up there. Uh, my dad's friend, and he has, there's two extra spots, so me and my dad are heading up there, and uh, we're going to try to crank some honkers, um, maybe to bridge a gap between uh, deer se uh, the gun season and second season, and then uh, come back get ready for second season drives and stands stand hunts uh with that and i'll have a new rig for a camera by then uh for christmas i'm getting a new rig um you guys see that when the time comes and like i said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video which will hopefully be either a fishing video because i will be doing some winter trout fishing to bridge a gap between this and uh gun season and second season or uh a goose hunting video too so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.